All right, well, I've always owned gas-powered trimmers on the yard. They've always seemed to be the most powerful. The only thing I've ever owned, actually, except for one unit is electric, and this is electric too, has been a corded one. That's kind of a big pain. I usually have a curved shaft too on those models that I bought like 10 years ago. But now they've come a long way, and you can get this model for like $255. I think I got it on Amazon. And then I got another extra battery for 135 is the same battery it's in the unit so the actual unit only costs less than the battery the batteries cost more than the actual unit itself and I got some extra trimmer line for about twenty dollars but um, apparently these are equivalent now to gasoline trimmers so this company Ego only makes gas or sorry only makes electric so we're gonna unbox it here and see what it looks like and you can see inside the box is just another box and it's got 56 volt battery, 15 inch power load technology. I'm not sure what that is. Hopefully it's not auto feed. I like the bump feed. That's kind of like press to wind. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting way of doing it. Carbon fiber shaft with lifetime warranty. Insert the line, press to wind. That's interesting. See, I've, I've used this stuff in commercial applications too with lawn maintenance businesses. So I'm wondering if it's at the stage now where I can use this for the lawn maintenance business. That'll be really interesting to see. And oh, by the way, I could have gotten bigger batteries, but they were so much more money. So I just wanted to get a backup to use on smaller jobs. I don't anticipate having really big jobs to use this thing on. So let's see what's inside. All right, inside the box is the operator's manual. Some extra trimmer line for the trimmer shaft, and here it looks like the whole trimmer collapses. Yeah, it folds. That's weird. I guess it's because it doesn't need to have a yeah, it doesn't need to have any kind of propeller, or maybe it does. Does this spin from the top motor? Maybe this does. That's interesting. Though it folds in half. Carbon fiber shaft, lifetime warranty. And then we got the shield. Looks like I have to put this thing together. And we'll get this to the battery charger. And then the extra battery, or not, this is the only battery. I, I bought the extra battery. And some kind of tool. That's it. All right, I've taken everything out of the packaging. There's the trimmer, the charger, shield handle, the battery that came with the unit and then the battery that I bought, the secondary battery. Now, the manuals that come with this, there's a, there's a manual for the whole trimmer, which looks pretty thick. There's the charger manual, and then there's the battery manual. So this will go through some basic things here. There's so many pages in here. First thing is this thing is folded, and I don't think you normally fold it up. It's just folded for original shipping, I guess to the original purchaser. So you're gonna need to unfold it very carefully so you don't destroy the drive shaft and then there's this piece here this screw that goes right in to the hole that once it lines up and you tighten it down so the trick is just make sure this is down so that it's not pinched at the top when you when you straighten this the shaft out There we go, that screw will go right in here. Make sure this lines up properly. This could be a little difficult to get going. What I ended up doing was separating it back so it was open so that I could just put the threads into the other end and see how it fit in there, see how it was going in correctly, make sure it wasn't cross-threading it. And it and it worked that way, and then I, then I went back and straightened the shaft out and have the screw in like this, and it works. Just be careful with it. Then I have to mount the guard, which is easy enough. It just, you already have the two bolts in this thing, and you just line them up with the holes right here, and then tighten them down with the tool that they give you. So that's what it looks like when it's attached.
And the last thing for assembly is to put this front assist handle on. You have to loosen the screws. They're already on the bracket, which is right on here. And then get the handle in the spot you want and tighten them down. All right, so I've got the handle on. The only thing left to do is to put the battery pack on. Oh, and take these off and put the battery pack on. snaps into place, just like that. Ooh. And see, so yeah, it's got a double switch here. And it's pretty quiet. And here's how the charger works. Looks like you can't make a mistake with this thing. Pretty simple. So you can see, here's one of my battery packs. And you push the button, and that's when it gives you the status. So it's all that means is it's over 15% of its charging, who knows, could be 15, could be 50, could be 80, who knows. But I guess you can use it until the light starts to turn red and then that, that's pretty much telling you you need to charge it.